I thought like what better day, what better time, what better place than 5 a.m. before a flight. It's gonna kick in all at once, isn't it? I'm gonna prep for my uh, flight. This is what I just used to wash my face with. Kinda woke me up, not really though. It's like one of those things that doesn't really feel like it would exfoliate, but it does. I'm gonna go in with my toner. So I read somewhere that all of this skincare to, that people are doing on the flight, that's actually like doesn't really do anything. I was watching some video that uh, like a dermatologist or, or someone along those lines made, and they were like, well, actually this is kind of all BS. It's like what you put on before your flight. So I decided that I needed a 45 step routine before my flight. I'm just going in with my Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. This one's by First Aid Beauty. And First Aid Beauty just knows their stuff when it comes to that. I'll zoom you in so you can see how fucked up my skin is. Also, look at that. I got a lash lift. Look how fun they are. They're like already kind of dropping a bit, but wipe all that down. I'm also going to take these facial radiance pads and I kind of messed up the order. I usually would use this right after I wash my face and then go with the toner, but whatever. I'm going to use one of these and these just like are basically your daily exfoliant. And since I'm like trying to fade all of this, I like to just like kind of concentrate there. The amount of like actual glycolic acid in it is pretty miserable, but it's better than nothing. These are great. I actually like to take them on flights because they aren't really a liquid or a cream, so you can kind of get away with it. I'm gonna take this fun product. This is an Erna Laszlo Essence. If you guys haven't tried like essences, they're super fun because they're like, they're kind of a weird product. They're not really a toner. They're not a moisturizer. They're like in between a serum and a toner, but a little more like slimy. Like this is, not watery and I just like to kind of get right in there they feel so good oh man if I could bathe in that so bomb all right only four more steps for my actual serum I'm gonna take my Vichy mineral 89 which is just a hyaluronic acid serum I need this for flights even if it's not Vichy, I just need a hyaluronic acid serum because this is what saves you. Up in there. Don't forget your neck. We won't forget our neck. For my eye cream, I'm taking my Erna Lazo Transfuse. It's kind of just been like my eye cream for the past few months. I'm going to avoid like, usually I would put my eye cream like all over here, but I just kind of got this eye lash lift so I don't really want to like fuck with it too much try my best I'm also gonna try brow lamination next just to see what that's about you know why not for my actual moisturizer I'm gonna take this Murad nutrient charged water gel i really like water-based gels like before flying or just when i need like an extra kick uh, they just like feel more hydrating i feel pretty good about this to finish it off i'm taking this mist this is the Adaptogen, not sure that's a word or whatever. Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. This is by Youth to People. It's pretty good. It has like hyaluronic acid in it as well. So it's a nice little extra boost of hyaluronic acid. I don't know if you can hear my dryer, but I decided that I also needed to do laundry 10 minutes before my flight. Fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. Ideally, I would bring this on with me, but it is pretty massive. So I don't think that I can. I always like to kind of spritz once my skincare is on because when your skin is wet, it obviously like absorbs everything more. So if you can, like if you have a little spritz toner with you when you're doing your skincare, spritz that on. I learned that at Lush. That was like one of the selling points. Like if you were to sell face masks, you also had to like sell face mists. 
together with them like you would be like okay buy this face mask and then also when your face mask is on you like spritz your face with it and it helps it absorb whatever probably one of the selling techniques but i don't care i still do it this is the best this is my truth one of the best lip balms i think i've ever used and that takes a lot for me to say i'm just not good at keeping my lips not bitten not eaten really follow that on and also like bring it with me of course because it's just the best lip balm I love it. It actually stays on, which is rare. Usually lip balms just either wipe off or like just absorb because my lips are literally so dry. I also like to do quick damage control. Do some like no makeup makeup just because it was just my life is makeup. I'm gonna take a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of my Fenty Beauty concealer and you can just get all the stuff that like just really throws them itself at you. I'm not gonna like extreme conceal, but just very gently spot buff that. Thou shall not leave the house without brushing the eyebrows. It's like my favorite for this kind of stuff. It's my precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. And I just like to just underline them a little bit and then just set them with a gel. It's also just become such a habit too now. We already know. 24 hour brow setter. This stuff, I don't even categorize as makeup anymore. This is a part of just my face. The amount of this stuff that I've gone through is pretty crazy. Oh, it's just so good. It just like lays them down. In a tragic turn of events, I lost my strip down by MAC. Somehow, I've lost literally all of them. I have these days where I walk into a Mac store and I buy like five strip downs at once just because I know I'm gonna lose them. And then I just lose them all within like six months and I just don't understand where they go. It's some kind of a curse that like YouTube has sent upon me because they don't want me to like use strip down anymore because I'm getting addicted to it. So I'm gonna take my house, house lab lip liner in the shade Endpoint because this is the closest that I can get. And I'm just gonna not even like line my lips, just like contour my lips. Now I feel better and semi ready to uh, do this. <laughs> it's also because I just had like a cracked out amount of coffee. Thought this was semi enjoyable. I feel like I just never really just come on here. I'm gonna go now. Literally, I have to actually like leave and like five minutes so peace out girl scout i'm gonna go face this experience love you bye